Hello again, this is Melissa, and today we are going to take a look at how to use the new prescription creation tool in Tremblag software. As this new prescription tool is a replacement for the existing one, it is located in the same place as before, under Field, Prescriptions. First, we are going to touch on the basic navigation of the tool. In the top left corner, there is a search bar for you to quickly search for a desired prescription. In the upper right corner, you will see four buttons. First, the download button. You can check off the desired prescriptions you would like to include in a prescription file. Click this to download a copy of them in one of the various formats that Trimble offers. Second, the Delete button, which can be used to delete any unwanted prescription from your list. Third, the Send button, to allow you to send the prescription directly to any Trimble connected display. And fourth, the Add button, to create a new prescription. We will go through this in more detail in just a moment. Just below that, you have a Filter button. Once clicked, a side panel will open up that will allow you to filter based on various criteria. Select any filter criteria to apply. To remove the filter, scroll to the bottom to click the Reset Filter button. When finished applying filters, you can click the X in the upper right corner to close the panel. In the center of the screen, you will notice a list of all prescriptions that have been created for your organization. Clicking on a prescription will open a new pop-up window on the right side that provides a summary of the prescriptions. You can review a preview map of the zones. You can click the Rates drop-down to see the details of each zone, for example the actual rate and the total area of the zone. All of your totals Total Product, Total Area, and Total Area Applied are available. Details for Material Used, Field, and Date Added, and Display Settings for Lead Time and Off Prescription Behavior. If you click the Send History tab in the top right of the panel, you can also view the history of when this prescription was sent out to the displays. To manage prescriptions in the overview screen, if you click on the three dots to the right side of a prescription, you will be presented with an option menu to send to vehicle, download, or delete the prescription. Now that we're done with navigation, let's jump back to creating a new prescription. After clicking the Add button, you will have two options, Create New or Import an Existing Prescription File. For the demo today, we are going to select Create New. The first thing we need to do is select the field that we want to create the prescription for. Next, select the material you wish to use. From there, we will now need to define the zones we wish to use in the prescription. You can either choose an existing zone that is in the software by selecting it from the drop-down menu, or you can click the plus sign on the right to create a new zone map or import an existing zone shapefile. For this prescription, we are going to create a new zone map. Once you click Create New, you will then be brought to the Create New Management Zone screen where you can use the drawing tools in the top toolbar to create your new zones. Once you are satisfied with the zones, you can then check off the box at the bottom of the right panel to save it as a new management zone for future use. Or you can leave it unchecked if there is no desire to save these zones. We are going to save it as a new management zone. Click Done to move to the zone details. In the Management Zone Details screen, you can then name the Management Zone, change the name of each zone, 
change the zone IDs, and adjust the colors for the zones. One thing to note, the colors that you choose for the zones will change after saving the prescription. This is because the system will reassign colors to a prescription zone based on rates, the highest rate being red and the lowest rate being blue. The colors you select for the zone map will remain as configured for the saved management zones. Once the zones are saved, it will bring you back to the Prescription Details panel, where you can now select the desired zone map and enter the prescription name before clicking Next. The next screen is where you can manually assign your rates to the various zones, then click Next. In the Display settings, you will then define the lead time and off prescription behavior. Click Save to save the prescription. To send a prescription, you can use the Send to Vehicles button from the preview window. You can click the Options button, the three dots to the right of the prescription, and select Send to Vehicles or you can select multiple prescriptions from the list and use the Send button in the upper right corner. All of these Send methods will open the Send to Vehicles window where you can select the desired vehicles. And this is how you use the new prescription features in Tremble Ag software.